Hello and welcome to our daily devotion, Heart, Hands, and Feet. I'm Pastor Brad. And I'm Deacon Cora. And uh, we are here in the week of Holy Week. Uh, we're learning about uh, death and life and resurrection. So our theme today is the gift of life. And our reading comes from 1 Peter the chapter 1. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. By his great mercy, he has given us a new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead and into an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled, and unfading, kept in heaven for you, who are being protected by the power of God through faith for salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. In this you rejoice, even if now for a little while you have had to suffer various trials, so that the genuineness of your faith, being more precious than gold, that though perishable is tested by fire, may be found to result in praise and glory and honor when Jesus Christ is revealed, although you have not seen him, you love him. And even though you do not see him now, you believe in him and rejoice with an indescribable and glorious joy. For you are receiving the outcome of your faith, the salvation of your souls. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. Well, Pastor Red, it's so nice for us to be able to be outside today and enjoying the spring weather. And, uh, and just as a reminder that spring is in the air, we hear the birds singing and we feel the sunshine and we see the daffodils blooming. And it is such a great reminder that spring is here. Definitely. Yeah, it's, it's that time of uh, things that have been dormant in the winter. The trees don't have their leaves. Uh, and many of the, well, the annuals have died for sure. But those bulbs coming up, uh, the hair, many have uh, the allergies and knowing that the pollen is in the air, that spring is coming, uh, certainly reminds us uh, of death and life. And uh, here we are uh, approaching this time of spring and summer where we truly are experiencing life. Lent and experiencing that kind of that in-between season too. Yeah. We're not quite all the way out of winter, but yet not, we're all the way into spring. And the same thing is kind of a reminder with Holy Week. Like we're not yet to Easter, you know, so we're living in this in-between mm -hmm. space, which is such a great reflection on the two. Um, so we invite you into some service opportunities this week that have to do with spring. And as you might see, we're in the community garden, which I'm really excited about learning more about and being a part of this year. Um, and our, one of our members, Anna Talentino, has headed that up. And she has some great opportunities for us to partner with her and how we can make this community garden a ministry of our church. So one of the things that she's asking for, or we're asking for to contribute is, if you'd be willing to pick up some paint sticks from your local hardware store. They're free, <laughs> right? You can get those paint sticks. We need at least 150 of those to mark our garden territory. Mm. That's a great thing that you can drop off at the, in the church narthex. We're also looking for um, seed packets to be no donated, specifically for um, carrots, beets, peas, squashes, lettuce, and onion sets. Please no kale, chard, <laughs> herbs, tomatoes, or peppers. And there's a reason behind that, and it has to do with the food bank and, and that thing, those things as well. And um, we'll also have information attached here about how you could maybe be a partner with the community garden if you'd like to sponsor a bed. There's opportunities to do that and what's involved with that. So we have lots of opportunities. Um, if you'd like to also contribute garden signs, we will accept those. Um, soaker hoses, um, uh, shades, all kinds of things that will provide all the details in this attachment on how you can serve. Great. We're, we're all thinking about spring and wanting these gardens to, to come up. And uh, one of the great things about this community garden, one is our partnership with the Columbine Hills uh, community and uh, those who uh, have come to garden in this place that has been such a blessing for them. And then uh, the amount of produce uh, that has been given to sharing with Sheridan, that uh, it's, it's not just gardening for the sake of gardening, but it's truly serving our neighbors and caring for those who are in need. So this garden has been uh, such a blessing. Thank you to all of those who have have participated in it. 
Let us pray. Great and glorious God, we give you thanks uh, that uh, we have hope in our life, in uh, resurrection, in uh, our struggles, in our pain, that we have hope. And that when there are uh, times of suffering, we are reminded of uh, you and your love and the gift of life that you give to us. So Lord, uh, bless uh, us and uh, the service that we do. May you uh, give us wisdom and energy to be able to care and love uh, for those who are in need. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, another announcement. Uh, we are going to be doing uh, two more devotions uh, this week, uh, one on Monday, Thursday, and one on Good Friday. So uh, look out for those as well uh, as we approach Easter. Well, may God bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine upon you with grace and mercy. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Amen. Have a blessed day. God bless.